hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Vicky and I am a mom youtuber I make videos from Lagos Nigeria so guys if you're new to my channel or you're seeing my face for the very first time or you have been watching my video and you have not subscribed to my channel we are going to give you five seconds now it's time to click on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel one two three four five tara it's that simple thank you so very much guys for clicking on my videos to watch and for those of you who are my returning subscribers please let's give ourselves a hug let us arrange the chairs dust the chairs sit down and let's have a gist thank you so very much guys for coming back to watch my video i appreciate each and every one of you big hug to all of you out there so guys in today's video i am just here to just say my own mind like Disclaimer, this is my own opinion. This is my mind. You understand? There's a video actually going online about a married woman who went to a, a shopping mall or a supermarket to actually fight the husband's side chick. What? Like, really? Like, to me, that is just an embarrassment. To me, it is not worth it. To me, I, I feel that that woman just dis as in just disrespected herself that woman just embarrassed herself and embarrassed with the committee of married women do you understand why am i saying that because it is not worth it like how do you go about fighting your husband's side chick how many of them are you going to fight do you understand how many of them are you going to fight no man is worth fighting for because a man who is worth fighting for will not even allow you to fight for him you understand so first of all she going out to go and start fighting that lady and disgracing herself maybe thinking she's embarrassing the lady of course she's embarrassing the lady and also embarrassing herself too because it is now a two waiting she's embarrassing herself she's embarrassing the lady so for, for me i feel it wasn't necessary for she to if there is anybody she actually needed to fight with or anybody she actually needed to disgrace was her husband because that child side chick had nothing to do with her that side chick did not take a vow with her her husband took a vow with her made her a promise of his fidelity you understand so him cheating on that side chick then she should be fighting with her husband and not the side chick that is my own opinion i am you you can say whatever you like or you can say your own opinion in the comment section i am very i'll be very happy to read from you guys you understand and then when it comes to that video a lot of people we are talking about that look at how the woman was dressed i don't know i'm going to look for the video and i might, I might put it up here but if i don't but the woman was dressed in a flag gown kind of and then below her nail and all that and then if you see how sexy this side chick was dressed do you understand she was dressed sexily let's let's give it to her you understand then the people were just saying her how would her husband cheat and see how she is dressed so married women when they marry them they forget about themselves yes it is true that most married women when once you get married you forget about taking care of yourself we forget about our dress sense we don't even know how to take care of our bodies anymore we just let go of everything and just surrender ourselves to the upbringing of our children caring for the family and our husbands and we forget ourselves in the process we don't even know how to dress up anymore those ones that actually really knew how to dress up don't even know how to dress up anymore they just relax but come on guys that is not a good enough reason for the husband to cheat on her because I tell you there are some married women who are well dressed who are sexy who are looking clean but their husband still cheats on them and then let me talk about those people who actually have given up on themselves if you have if you are married and you cannot take care of yourself anymore you're not just doing your husband or you're not just giving him an excuse to go and cheat you're doing yourself because you don't you're you're, you're not feeling i don't understand don't you see other people and you 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 see how good they dress i will encourage you if you are in that category of married women who have actually forgotten themselves in the in the process of taking care of the children the family the home front please pick up yourself start looking as beautiful or as sexy as possible don't give this man an excuse on why they should go out and cheat but to me there is no excuse that is good enough reason some people said the wife is fat the wife is this who told you she wasn't fat before she got married and even if she was fat she wasn't fat before she got married childbirth happened you understand a lot of people that side chick must, must have had nothing to do than to dress up and show up you understand but this woman has children to take care of her body has gone through gestational period her body has gone through pregnancy her body has gone through a lot to bring life and um, a child into this world you understand and her body cannot remain the same her body cannot even be the same as the lady's own so nobody should come here you shouldn't come and start judging the woman that i see how she was she's looking yes she has a, a part to play in the whole thing 
but you don't judge her totally you understand some and you you guys forgot that sometimes most of these married men don't even give their wives money to take care of themselves they don't even care about their wives at home they can give thousands millions of naira to the side chick outside but giving their wives money to take care of themselves at home is a big problem yes most men are like that so you don't just go around some people some women are just total housewife they have nothing to do and the husbands are not taking care of them and those ones that the husband are, are taking care of there are men who also take care of the home front and also they are just men who are cheats by nature so i don't see any reason some people blame some people are just saying that the woman the way she was dressed the way she's this the way she's that do not blame her you understand side chicks these days all they do they have nothing they don't have a child to care for they don't have a home to care for all they worry about is to dress up and show up and you that is a man that is thinking your side chick is hotter than your wife excuse me like hello one thing you should know is that that side chick you're only seeing her when she's all dressed up some side chicks are very dirty human beings you understand they are very dirty if you meet them in their elements you understand if you meet them in their home so you just feel that because you've seen them all dressed up all glammed up you think that that's how they are meet them in their element like see them all relaxed and chilling and feeling cool with themselves and you also see that the wife you think is worse that is bad at home your side chick in her element is worse than your wife so i just feel that in this case of side chick and married men i feel as a married woman my own opinion now is as a married woman try your best do your best do not give the man an excuse why he should go cheating and then you cannot kill yourself marriage is not a do or die affair you understand you cannot come and kill yourself you get in this side chick and um, and then um, housewife or married women palaver you understand i don't see i don't support any married woman going out to fight the husband's side chick what if you go then can't go beat you what if you go now the side chick starts beating you and embarrassing you how will you feel because it's not all side chick that you can beat you understand no matter how strong you are there will be one that might be mad and if you go to fight um side chick a uh, get ready you, you you might fight and fight and fight how many of them will you fight your husband is a cheat the person you have to deal with is your husband because that woman now that went to embarrass that girl because she's dating her husband because she was yelling that like, you're giving my husband anal sex that like, you giving my husband this that, that and she was just yelling that's the woman that went out there to fight the husband's side chick she just did it wrong because what happened it hasn't changed anything the only thing it has done ended up doing is that it has even ended up making the husband the husband will even go more to that girl because one she is going to take her on expensive tri trips or is going to buy her expensive gifts or is going to do more expensive things for her just to apologize on her behalf on the wife's behalf that's what will happen you take her on a date to apologize on the wife's behalf who buy her gifts just to apologize so a man that is a cheat is a cheat it is not by going to fight the girl he's cheating with that will sort the matter it's either you pray about it or you look for some other means on how to settle this but going out to fight a fellow woman because of a dick no dick is worth it because a dick that is worth it will not put you in that situation to start fighting somebody because of him. Do you understand? So my own opinion is you shouldn't have gone out to fight that woman. Do not go out to fight any man. Any man that has fallen out of love from give him you give him space. Maybe maybe invest in yourself. Maybe change your attention. Maybe switch what you uh, 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 develop yourself. You understand? Look after your children. Forget about killing yourself and trying to hit your head on the wall that he's cheating on you, he's cheating on you, he's cheating on you, and you want to go out and start fighting somebody else. You will kill yourself in the process, and the man will end up marrying that same girl you went to fight him, to, to fight her for him. Do you understand? So, alas, it's not worth the whole struggle because it's it's like this. You can't continue like that. So, as a married woman, if your husband is cheating, please pray about it and look for how to develop yourself look for how to keep your mind busy look for something to do to make you worthy keep keep let your time let your time be expensive do you understand because if you start sitting down and drooling and crying over it there are a lot of things there are a lot of sides to what this story you understand that she is not well dressed does not mean that that is that is that is all she has you understand because a lot of people who are well dressed their husbands still cheat on them the bottom line is a man that is a cheat is a cheat so guys i don't know what you guys 
think about the video i don't know how you see it or what you do is, is she supposed to do what she did is it is it worth it for she to must have gone out to go and start fighting a lady because of a man and a man that w that is what you fighting for would not even put you in that situation in the first place so i would like to hear your 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 your, your thoughts i would like to hear what you feel about it how you feel or what these side chicks are all about what they are actually doing as in I'd like to hear your opinion on this side chick and wife matter. How do you feel? How should this case be, be handled? Is fighting necessary? Is fighting is going to confront the girl important? Is it is it worth it? Are, are we supposed to be doing that? Or uh, wh how how do you feel? Please leave it in the comment section. I would really love to hear from you because as for me, I can't go out to fight nobody because they go beat me and I don't want person to beat me. You understand? So I would have known how to handle it in a better way. So guys, I would love to hear yours in the comment section. Please leave it in the comment section. And for those of you who have watched me up to this point how far please hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you'll be informed whenever i post a new video please guys if it pleases you please share this video with your loved ones please put it on your insta story share it on your facebook and do not forget to leave me a comment and hit on the like button i love each and every one of you for watching my video thank you so very much guys i will see you guys in my next video bye bye guys Leave your comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Bye, guys.